Thank you for joining us this week. I'm Mark Maxwell. St. Louis Mayor Tashara Jones is now pushing back against new calls in an op-ed from uh, for state lawmakers to rein in the city's, quote, sky-high crime rates. The author of that article, Steve Ellman, claims crime in the city hampers growth in the region. But his calls go beyond just revisiting local control uh, of the police board in favor of a state takeover. He also argues that the city of St. Louis wrongly has total control over the region's most important asset, the Lambert Airport. He's calling on the state legislature to step in and solve some of St. Louis's biggest problems. He's also the leader of the second largest local government in our region, in the state, Steve Ellman uh, from St. Charles County. Thanks for joining us on the record. Glad to be here, Mark. Aren't you overstepping your boundaries here? No, uh, not at all. I, uh, and I disagree with one thing you said. The, this particular article, uh, 25 years ago, I was a uh, leader in the Missouri Senate uh, of an effort, uh, bipartisan effort by people, senators in the region to, to, to create a, rid a regional airport authority. This particular uh, op-ed piece does not talk about control of the airport. What I'm suggesting is that all the leaders in the region need to get together and we need to go as a group to Washington, D.C. and try to get the money the airport's going to need to bring it up to the standards that, uh, that, we, de that we deserve. Because we have those quotes from the opening paragraph of your article where you, you put crime right next to control of the airport. What does no. one have to do with the other? Nothing. But both have to do with the future of the region. So what's the benefit in, so right now St. Louis, the city, mm -hmm. controls the airport. It sounds like you want to change that. Well, again, yeah, I think it would be ideal. But what I say in the in the article, if you if you want to uh, read it, it's in the very last paragraph. It says, if we work together to improve that airport, maybe the city then will realize it's in their best interest to involve the entire region in that airport. You know, Mark, the, the airport originally, and we need to thank the people in the city of St. Louis in 1927. They made the initial investment. They put their money at risk. It was government obligation bonds to start the airport. But in my lifetime... Those people aren't still voting, are they? No, they're not. And in my lifetime, all the money that has gone into the airport has come from federal uh, sources paid for by all of us in our federal taxes or by user fees. So the city continues to own it, continues to run it, but it's basically the users and the federal taxpayers who are paying for it. And the city will always be first among equals at the airport, but there, I don't see why there can't be a way in which the rest of us can have some input. Why should other governments have their hands in the pot? Can't you, is, isn't there a point at which you have too many cooks in the kitchen? I, I, don't, I don't believe so, and I, I think uh, uh, our airport um, was ranked 23rd out of 27 in its, uh, in its particular category recently. So you think the count, St. Louis County or St. Charles County would be better at, would, would bring something different? What would be the improvement? Well, for one thing, uh, you wouldn't have to uh, uh, live in the city to work at the airport. Uh, that was one of the arguments we made 25 years ago. But so it's about uh, jobs. Yeah, the big, the big uh, it, it's almost a, a taxation without representation, okay? If, if federal taxpayers, including those in St. Charles County and Franklin and Jefferson and St. Louis County, are contributing to the airport, it just seems logical that they would have some input into how the airport's running. The cities recognize that fact, and we, for the last 12 years, I believe, have had a representative on an advisory board uh, at the airport, but all the big uh, decisions are still made downtown, and they're made in a political subdivision that has uh, 300,000 people, and a small percentage of those get to vote and, and elect the leaders who make the decision that really in affects the entire region. We started off talking about the airport. I'm going to shift to crime. I'm glad yeah. you mentioned that taxation about repre uh, without representation because your article calls for revisiting local control of the police board, which you just finished saying a moment ago. You were one of the prime advocates for it, switching mm -hmm. it for s from St. Louis uh, uh, where the state controlled the police board to giving the city local control. Right now, Kansas City is the only city in the country where the uh, that, that does not have control of its own police board. Why go back in the other direction, in a, into the other two centuries ago? Why go back, uh, look at what's happened in the last five, six years with regard to crime and the number of murders, the, uh, the number of cases that have been filed by the prosecuting attorney, I mean, uh, the fact of the matter is, and, 
and um, the, the mayor is right about well, a lot of the things. prosecuting attorney. That, that's a separate. We'll get to that in a okay. minute. But yeah. don't you see that as a separate issue? No, I see. Over which I city see crime the in the city uh, overall as a, as a as a very important issue. And the the mayor's quote, which you had up on the screen just a minute ago, she is right about one thing. Th whatever th I'm doing here, this is a swan song. I've got uh, well, one more on term. I've got one more term. I'm not a I'm unopposed, so I will be elected, and I, and I have four more years to make a difference. I tell the people in St. Charles County. When I address them, I say, listen, we are doing very well. We, do, we grew 12% uh, in the last census. I think we're going to continue to do well for a while. But in the long run, unless the region gets its act together, and the region only grew 1.2%, unless the region gets its act together, eventually everybody who wants to move to St. Charles County will do it, and then all of us will be no growth. And that is something that I hope is a long way down the road, but I think it's something we need to be aware of. And I think the key to the region growing is getting the uh, crime in the city under control because the city is the face of the region. It's what the uh, it, it city has a lot of the things that we're very proud of, okay, and we love to uh, brag about. But the city also has a problem which reflects on all the rest of the region when we try to bring people in here and convince them this is a good place to build a business, to raise a family, and to uh, and have, a, have a, a worthwhile lifestyle. Do you acknowledge the racial component to the history of the state police uh, and the state control of the police department in St. Louis? Meaning that the, s the state, as you wrote, was skeptical and had a wary eye of the city back then. It's precisely because the city was abolitionist, anti-slavery, and other people oh, farther inland in rural Missouri were more pro-slavery. Yeah, the city of St. Louis, and in, indeed the entire region, that's one th thing this region was together on. We were almost all against uh, slavery, at least the majority of us were. Uh, and it's largely due to the German population in the city, the county, St. Saint, Saint Charles County, Franklin County. So yeah, uh, ever since the Civil War, there's been a, there's been a tension there over that particular issue. But there's other issues that have come up in the meantime, uh, just issues involving governance and, and crime and corruption and other things, and the legislature has had to deal with those at various points in our history. And even though the city of St. Louis, and for that matter, city of St. Charles, is much older than the state of Missouri, as a legal entity, they are a political subdivision of the state, and, and the state has some amount of control, which, as you already said, it's, it's exercised in the past, continues to exercise in Kansas City. Right. Of course, uh, our viewers will know that St. Louis existed before even the state of Missouri mm -hmm. did. Of course, the state still has that preeminence in the, in the subdivisions, as you've uh, titled it there. Uh, but I guess I'm wondering, though, why go back? Uh, some political operators might view this threat uh, to the mayor. Uh, this power grab, this takeover, as sort of a, a, a bluff, a negotiating position to bring her to the table on something else, or to get her to back down on uh, police oversight. No, I say, I think I say that in the article. The best outcome here, and I, I still believe in local control. I mean, I'm a county executive. I don't, I, and I was in favor of the local control going back to the city. What I hope will happen here, first of all, somebody's got to file a bill, and then you know the process. It takes many years sometimes to, to get something passed. My hope is we get a bill filed, we start a debate, we have a good discussion, but before anything can happen in Jeff City, the mayor, instead of you know, challenging uh, motivation here and attacking the, uh, the messenger, will debate the message and come up with a plan so that they don't have to do anything in Jefferson City to get crime under control. Would you, and this would you support the state taking over control of the police board in St. Charles? If we had the crime rate that the city of St. Louis has, absolutely. Very, you, you would? Yes. Very interesting. Uh, you also, I want to give you one last chance. To, we, you, you talked about a few other things, like the highway patrol. The mayor said she was open to that uh, mm -hmm. assistance mm -hmm. on the highways. You also talked about combining the circuit court from the county and the city of St. Louis together. That sounds a little bit more like, a, like you want to fire one of the two prosecutors because you'd still have all the no, same that's caseload. That's the important uh, important thing is I don't want to fire them. Well, you're the, making the case. The, the, no, the, the voters will select. The voters one already did. Of the two. 
Yeah, but they will select one and again. Well, in, in winnowing the choice from two to one, you're firing one of the positions. You're, you're getting yeah, rid of Yeah, and why are you assuming uh, one? You're, you're, I think you think you know which one will be. Uh, will where be where are more voters in St. Louis County or St. Louis City? I you don't know, know it's three to one, St. Louis County. It'll be about the personalities, it'll be about the performance and the philosophy that the prosecutor brings to the job. Uh, this is not unprecedented either. You mentioned Kansas City with uh, the state appointing the, uh, the members of their police board. Kansas City is in Jackson County, and the city and the county are one circuit. Okay, it they're one circuit right. with one prosecutor. Now, they have two courthouses, one downtown in Kansas City, one in Independence. We would have the same thing in, in the city and county here. We'd have two courthouses. We'd have uh, no judge, uh, bailiff, or janitor would lose their job. But the, the we'd have half of the people in the region voting to determine who is the prosecutor in what is, without a doubt, the most important jurisdiction in the region. I guess, how do you explain to people who might say, wait a minute, you think the key to making the St. Louis region safer is fewer prosecutors? No, the, the key is to have a, a, an, an efficient prosecutor's office. And, and I'll let you go ahead and do the, the research on, on the, the number of uh, cases that have been filed, the number of convictions, and so forth. But the uh, important thing here is that, uh, is that uh, again, this is not unprecedented. This is something that's absolutely, um, and, and you know, I have some folks have talked to me and others have suggested what we need to do is, is pass a statute allowing the governor to appoint a special prosecutor, mm -hmm. okay? So if we have a situation where the crime is not getting prosecuted, allow the governor to appoint a special prosecutor. Now that is a bit perhaps too undemocratic. I still think people should be able to elect their prosecutor. We should have that amount of local control. But I, I think in an area uh, uh, that's this important, having only a small portion of a small uh, jurisdiction uh, make the most important decision is not good policy. All right, very interesting discussion with Steve Elman, the uh, county executive of St. Charles County. Before we go, uh, you understand you'd have to get this through the Senate and the House in Jefferson City. Oh, absolutely. You've worked there before, so help us understand how realistic or how heavy a lift would something like this be. You know there's a lot of population in St. Louis, a lot of lawmakers from there, and I can't imagine they'd be uh, licking their chops to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the mayor. Yeah, uh, again, you know, all these ideas uh, that were in my op-ed piece uh, were in a uh, – presentation I made to a Senate interim, interim committee a year ago. Uh, the mayor and I were the first two to testify uh, at that hearing, and all these ideas were expressed then, and, and I kind of thought I'd, I thought so I'd So how likely is it to pass? How likely? Uh, it's it's going to be a heavy lift. A heavy lift. There you go. Steve Elman, thank you for joining okay. us.